In this video, we're going to look at integrating tan x and cot x. And the rule that you want to look out for and keep an eye out for all the time is when you integrate f prime over f. Because when you do that, you get the natural logarithm of the modulus of f of x plus c. OK, and this rule is what we're going to use to integrate these things here. So tan x we know to be sine x over cosine x. So in order to use our rule, the denominator would have to differentiate to the numerator. Now cosine x differentiates to minus sine x, so not sine x. However, it is a multiple of the numerator, so we can still use this rule. So because cosine x differentiates to minus sine x, we would have the negative. Um, well, you could kind of think of it in either going straight to the answer, or you can think, well, I could multiply by minus 1 twice, and that won't change anything. If I put the minus sign there, it might make it a little bit clearer. So that now, the denominator differentiates perfectly to the numerator. And so we've got the negative of log of the modulus of cosine x plus c. So the modulus of log of the modulus of the denominator. And so tan integrates to negative log mod cosine x plus c. OK? Now we're going to use a similar trick for cot x. So cot we understand is cosine over sine. Now we don't need to pull any fancy tricks here because sine x differentiates to cosine x perfectly. And so this is the natural logarithm of the modulus of sine x plus some constant c. And so that is where these integrals come from. 